Oh, well, actually, you know what the funny, the truth of it is? I had a... <laughs> God, you all right? Yes. I really want to talk about this accent. Um, Rebecca Hall, who is, is um, actually half British, yes. said that your accent was borderline offensive. Right. Does Did that she say that? <laughs> She didn't say that to us. I know. Whoa. She said, you're fine. You're fine. Okay. Yeah. Well, now we know the truth. <laughs> okay. Well, what was the inspiration? Who did you visualize? What were you attempting with this incredible, luxurious action Thank accent? Thank you. Well, a lot of what we're doing in the movie is sort of like doubling down on the cliches of England <laughs> and the Victorian era. So we really dig into the things that are famous about England and... Um, and those accents, that formality of those accents and the kind of funny word choices and um, the vocabulary they used and the weird little spins they put on pronunciation, that's what we do. So yeah. we just try to do that. We, I mean, we're almost doing like a, you know, a, a more English accent than most English people have, I think. Yeah, there was, uh, I studied a lot uh, this actor Jeremy Brett, who did the, this BBC version who had this very strange delivery where he would just be talking about a subject and then all of a sudden, for enunciation, would start screaming at the top of his lungs! <laughs> but there's no real emotional point to it. And uh, so I incorporated a little bit of that. Right. Yeah. So it's getting loud, not angry. No, no, yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. Emphasis. Emphasis! Yes. Um, it is great that you've got a lot of source material as well. Like this is a book that's been around for a very, very long time, but there's been film and television adaptations. What, who's your favourite other Sherlock Holmes and um, and Doctor Watson? What do you think of Benedict Cumberbatch and Martin Freeman's version? My favourite adaptation is the. Um, I don't know if you guys have it in Australia, but we have the the whole Sherlock Holmes game show here in the states. What? And it was big in the seventies. Uh, it was just so fun. I've never heard of it. You could be making um, it up. Yeah, my it doesn't exist. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, thank it you. Well, my, my favorite version yeah. is that Jeremy Britt version it is. Yeah. Because that was that one, the, it was on BBC TV. Yeah. And that one was the first one that told the truth about the darker aspects. Sucks. It was the first one to do it. Now, of course, since then we've had other, other versions that have done that, but Jeremy Britt was the first one who's like freebasing or whatever mm -hmm. it was he was doing when he was not working. He was living an intense, we don't do that life. in the movie. No. Okay. Yeah. yeah. No, you just bust just, out in song. You yeah, have a musical. Right. right we do. Coming into the Although we do offer of hardcore pharmaceuticals to people mm -hmm. who are, you know, just who seem just even a little bit peaked. We're like, "Would you like some heroin?" <laughs> That's right. That is a line, not what is happening off camera. That's in line in the movie. Uh, whoa. Yeah. You're welcome. I just rescued oh, yeah. your reputation. Oh, That's no, I wouldn't line. have offered you heroin on camera. <laughs> I would have waited till you know. No, my character is a doctor in the movie, so there were all kinds of crazy medical beliefs at the time, like, you know, and one of them was the liberal use of cocaine and opium and all these crazy drugs that we now recognize as being addictive and destructive. Mm -hmm. there was, it was the Wild West don't of medicine back then. Don't. Don't tell me, tell them. Don't. Mm. don't. I know, I know. Um, there is a subliminal political messaging in this film as well, which mm. I thought, considering the climate, was done in a very clever way. Is that something that you kind of really fought to have in the movie? A political? No, I. You know, it was it was part of the um, offerings of anachronistic humor throughout the movie. <laughs> and um, so, no, I, I think it's just funny. Two American actors playing Brits, okay. commenting on how messed up America is, was kind of the whole. Got it. And a yeah. lot of the kind of symbiosis of the movie is these two women from America and these two guys from England and comparing the two countries and comparing our systems yeah. of government, mm -hmm. et cetera, et cetera. Right at a time when both of our but systems of government in the present day are collapsing. Are in this. some state of upheaval. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's happening in pretty much everywhere. Brexit! Yeah. What are we going to do? I mean, England. Yes. She's from Australia. Yeah. Huh? No, I know. Yeah, cool. Commonwealth. Have yes. you guys considered an oxit from England cutting your ties to the motherland? Yeah, actually, there was a vote not terribly long ago. Really? We decided, we decided to stay with the monarchy. 
Hmm. Have you, what about a vote to combine forces even more than you ever have? Like double down. Just like to double call down. Yourself New England. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, or no. No. We haven't done that yet, but and I mean, it's not. It's not a no. It's you just not. Great, you Great Britain, Australia, something like that. I think there's something to work with yeah. there. Just like yeah. And bring New Zealand along too. I would. Why like not? That. that would be fun. Once and for all. And what about Fiji? Business. That's a whole other ball game, really, that's isn't a, it? That's a boat it's just right Australasia. Away. Yeah. Yeah. Now the United Kiwi Land. United Kiwi Land. This I like okay. that one a lot. This um <laughs> this movie's coming out around the Christmas break. Why should people? once having time off work, right. watch this film. Well, it's, you pivot okay. off the things we were just talking about, all the bad news and crazy political upheaval in the world, like, don't Get you want to just go and have a laugh? Have a laugh, let your hair down. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can't let my hair down. Neither can, you can. You can literally it's let down. your hair down. Yeah. Uh, put on a nice, put on some lipstick mm -hmm. and some, you know, your holiday earrings that look like brushes and Go to the cinema, and when you said enjoy. put on lipstick, you went like this. Put on some lipstick. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's how I do it. You're new to it. <laughs> I draw like Little Red Riding Hood. I draw a circle around my face. 